Hi you guys, this is Ginger Cook and this is Acrylic Monday, but it's more than that. This is my Acrylic Monday, February 1st birthday bash. Whoa! Whoa, whoa! And so we've got some surprises for you guys. On my birthday we give out things, so this is really fun. we got some great surprises. We're going to do something a little different. We're going to be painting a Mardi Gras mask, but she's going to be uh, 9 by 12 Yes. A, a little bit bigger, so the video may take it may take a little longer to do, but I think, you know, um, these and we are... we apologize. This, we apologize for that, uh, but I think you're going to love what we do, and um, and wait till you see the other stuff. We've got some giveaways. We've got some great stuff, step-by-step -step tutorial. Can't wait to, you guys to join us, and again, thanks everybody for the thumbs up and the uh, subscriptions. So, John, have you put us down Without to the table? Without further ado... We have dropped below. Now, you'll notice that we've... Isn't that a neat photo? Look at that reference photo. It's just beautiful. The mask is, is off to the side. Um, we've got the red and the black with the gold. Really pretty, isn't it? I mean, it's just really something different. And um, I've got a red canvas, and what I've done is I've just traced on using transfer paper. Um, Sorrel transfer just paper? The, just the Sorrel transfer paper. Just the mask. If you didn't have Sorrel, Sorrel transfer paper... Um, you could just print out something like this and then rub the back of it with like chalk. And uh, let me show you what that would do. Okay, I'm going to do this real quick, right? I'm going to rub the back of this with chalk like this. I want you to see that because you don't have to have transfer paper. Then what happens is when you mark on it, the chalk goes on there. And if I did white chalk, you could probably see it better, right? It's just... See? I, well, yeah, I did there. blue, but if I did white chalk or light yellow chalk or something, here, I, I think that's important. I tell you guys this once in a while because I think it's important. Let's, let's do this. Let's just do this yellow so you can really see what I'm talking about. Yeah, and these are soft pastels, too. I guess that would be, there's right where the that is, thing. right there, right? So I'm just going to do a couple. Here, come on, pen. Hello. Do, do you see? Can you see the mark? Sometimes you have to do a couple layers to see it, the chalk, and it seems, seems to me I went right in the blue. Better. Well, the blue actually was a little better, but, you yeah. know, white's good too, but, um, yeah. So anyway, the chalk does work, and um, so there you have it. So we've got a red background, and uh, this is what we're going to start with. Now, the paints we're using are the, uh, the Salvador acrylic paints, and... Um, You've got the little labels. Now, it's going to come up. Where, well, where do I get a, a, the uh, image to transfer? This will be available tomorrow sometime <laughs> in, um, in our Beginner what? Acrylic Academy Basic Supporter and Up. So if you're one of our basics... We're going to give it to everybody. Freebies get it too. Everybody's going to get Everybody's it. Everybody's going to get it. It's a little birthday present from us Everybody's to you. Gonna, you have to go to where? The beginner... Beginneracrylicartist.com. Ar artist, and it'll be right there available for everybody. Yeah, with, everybody will get it there. Okay. Even if you are an Academy member, please come to that site and register because we're getting real close to moving over. Yeah, so there you I go. I see the Art Sherpa just made a uh, contribution to your worthiness, my queen. Oh. And she goes, happy birthday. Mom, I'm so glad you were born. And or my mom. Oh, thank you, Cinnamon. So Love from Cinnamon, John, Honey, Spider, Luna Bella. Thank you, guys. I have to go to the kids' night routine, but wanted to send you rain shower of love. Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you very much, Cinnamon. You know, Cinnamon's up there in... Uh, uh, in gold country. In gold country. <laughs> She's getting... The snow has unzipped and is dumping on them. I bet the kids are loving it, you know? You know, oh, probably been not... they done that. that. Probably not her dad who asked us to uh, blow the walk. Well, all right. So this is what we've got so far. Thanks very Thank much. Thank you, Cinnamon. Thank you, Cinnamon. Thank you for our moderators who are make these shows. Who are moderating. Moderating. They, they moderate. And we have Miss Mona on this evening. From Sweden. So thank you very much, Sweden, Mona. Sweden. Luann. Luann. Hi. Lynn made it. Lynn was having a little bit of technical issues early, but she made it on. Oh, Stephanie's great. on. Liz is on. I'm sure Judy's running around. And Tony's here. Well, I think we have the full we have, we have the full game. I think I will take the night off. We have the full gang, so thanks very much for that. Thank you, everyone. Um, everybody, this is great. So one of the things I want to do uh, right away, we're, like I said, these are the colors we're using. All the yellows, all the reds, and then we're using um, soap green, black, and white. Now, I have a sort of a surprise to tell you about a little special announcement. 
Salvador Paints came up that those these will be released soon. Came up with a new paint kit. Yeah, the shoes with, with the larger tubes. A couple tubes. of weeks we're thinking. And they're all all the tubes are gonna those should be out in a couple of weeks. And they improved the white. They they better. listened to us and they said okay so we're gonna improve the white so they improve the white. There's two whites in this kit and it's just the paints, large tubes. That's all you're getting. But it's still under. What did she say it was priced? They're shooting for 1995. 1995 with the with the bigger tubes. Yeah. Right. Twenty four so colors of two plus the extra white, I believe. Yeah. So that's 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 what they're doing it. So that so that I thought and that you guys should be out very very soon. We're one of the first people in the nation to get those puppies. Now one we're of the excited. prizes. Obviously, we're not going to get it. Give away this painting tonight because it's so large. But we are giving away something even better. Wait till you see what we're get, giving away. In addition to that, we have the um, we've also got we the, have the, the pen and the, the brush and the yeah, tablet. Not, not that one. Uh, get it, Bob. John's going to get it. We have the, Sal the the original Salvador paint set with the extra white and the um, and the brushes and the sponge. Someone uh, is going to win that tonight in a drawing at the end. And uh, we have that. Uh, oh, we also have John's finding the other thing. There'll be some, a couple of extra surprises. Be sure when we put this up that to, to register to win stuff. This is the uh, Centurion uh, linen, uh, canvas linen with the brush. This was one of our, our, our viewers and uh, followers uh, donated this. For, and these are wonderful. This ruby satin silver brush. You see me use these all the time. They're perfect for a painting like this. And the linen canvas. You know, people always say, do you use linen or regular canvas? You know, in a perfect world where just money was fl flowing like rain or snow, like It'd up be in New York, on it would be linen on everything. Face it, people say, "When do you use linen? When it's on sale?" You know, because yeah. linen is just a little smoother, a little nicer. Okay, and this is a, so someone's going to be winning that plus the brush, and it's still more giveaways more, throughout the evening. More to come. So or, you just never know what the queen's going to do. You just don't know. So I'm gonna, without day. further ado, we're going to. Um, Start answering a few questions as I take us one of these smaller ruby satin silver brushes. This is the one quarter. Start with the white paint. This is the Salvador, their new version. Right there, those little four dots. And we come on over here, over the red. Hey, we'd like to thank Clarice for the donation that came in. And happy birthday, Ginger. Thanks for all you do. Oh, Clarice, that is so sweet. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate that very, very much. And I appreciate... Those, uh, we, there's been, I've, apparently, John says a few little birthday gifts have come in through these, Ooh. through snail mail, snail mail. And where do they put, we, we put, the, oh, they're over there, let me get those up John, there. And John, we're going to open those when I'm drying, needing to have a place to dry things. Yeah. This is my first coat of, of paint You just here. need to enter the giveaway one time, is all you need to do. Don't enter more than once, please. One and entry here's per the secret, person. if you don't put in an address. You may not win. You may not win. If, if we, we don't have, have an address, you yeah, you don't you don't want that to happen. We we need the address, and we need it with your entry. And we don't do anything with those; they get thrown out every every time. So we don't keep it. So just because you gave it to us some other we time, we just We're listen. Sure time to do what we do. I barely can do my emails. Yet, yet alone. Um, wait, wait, wait. Let's wait. Let's talk about emails, shall we? <laughs> no, let's not talk about emails, John. I don't want to talk about emails. So, um, all right. So I've got that. Now I'm going to take the the nose of her. I'm just going to come up here like this and just uh -oh. just to leave a little of that red like that. Okay. Now, are, do we have cards for these? Do we remember? Uh, I hope we remember. I don't know, John. I mean, you were in charge of that. You didn't show me what I got. So if I'm we don't have. That's, the that's right. George is in. John is in charge of everything, and. Um, so, all right, so we're just going to leave that alone. It's not quite perfect yet, but we we need a... But it's darn close. But, but at least we know that, that all that's white. There's not a lot of white in there, and we still have layers. You wouldn't just stop there, okay? So then if you've got that, then what? Well, um, the mask, as you know, is gold. So one thing you can do is that... You, you, those of you who went ahead and bought that fancy gold gesso and you have a jar of it <laughs> lying around, you think, what can I do with this stuff? I'm going to have this for a thousand years. I'll be dead and there'll be still half a jar of gesso left. That's a, You could use that on this for sure. If you didn't have that, you can do a little bit of yellow oxide and we'll take a little bit of primary yellow and yellow oxide together and we're going to come along the inside of the mask and um, just... Um, 
paint our first layer. I keep saying that, our first layer of, of gold. It's just sort of get that there. I don't think I, I think I can figure out where the little decorations go. Now the nice thing about something like this, like a Mardi Gras mask like this, the very nice thing about this is that um, what it does is allows you to be a little creative. Um, my mask is going to be just like the picture, gold and, um, and black and red. That's what I'm going to do, right? But, you know, that's not to say you have to do that. Uh, but you might want to just for the sake of um, argument. argument, try it this way first and then say, okay, if I did it again, what would I paint? And how would I do it differently? So that's that's a, a good thing to do. See that right over her nose like that. Okay. And then just, just, there's no water on this brush. These are paints that, that um, if I did anything, it would be a damp brush. But um, other, other than that, I, if you do a lot of water, you'll, you'll thin them out and you don't want to do that. Okay. So, all right. So I've got that. Now I'm going to take this um, Azo Yellow yellow medium and let's let's grab a little of that in the priority red and let's come around here it's a little too orange let's take a little more yellow with that let's come around here the outside of this and we're going to say this is the sort of the deep inside color of this mask okay lots of different ways to do this this is how we're doing it today how's that that makes sense and tomorrow will be different it's funny. I was thinking about, I was thinking about the other day. You know, you always have these kind of thoughts when you have birthdays. And I mean, how many in our audience know what a church key is? I do. You know, it's you what think you about open that. Church with. And um, it's like a church key. Do you remember those? And then, uh, how many of them still have even have one in the house? Do we still have one? No, we don't have one anymore. I don't think so. You know, we don't have one. Though so, uh, they're not a terrible idea to have. I mean, if you have to, what are you going to use it on? Well, if you have to open a can and you don't have a can opener, you could do something with it, I suppose, right? <laughs> I suppose. Yes. No. Yes. You don't think so? I don't think so. Um, you know, the color I think I want is, and I didn't put it out, but I think I want it. It's a little burnt sienna. Let's take. Let's put that out. We'll just put it right. We'll just put it right here. Okay. Because um, that's the kind of... Josh, we see the cake you baked. Oh, you're going to see what I did later. Yeah, John's, John's got... we got a, we got breaks for eats, right? Yeah, we have breaks for eats. we got eight breaks for eats, right? Like that. Let's just come on over here like this. And uh, come under the eyes with the burnt sienna. And uh, I'm going to come under here like this with a little burnt sienna over here on the side here like that now there's a little trick we're going to wipe the paint off the brush use the back of the brush and just erase that line kind of blend them together kind of blend it together what's still what just trying to erase that line the back of the brush here and just that's our little shadow line for our mask and as as we layer the paint on it will be it'll be more pronounced but we we know we want that and take us take a little bit of this Ooh, there's no Mardi Gras this year. The mayor canceled it. Did he? Or oh, she. wow. Wow. I wonder if Galveston's still having one. You know, they do a Mardi Gras in Galveston. My guess would be no. I mean, it, it's still pretty potent out there. I think a no, huh? All right. Now, one of the colors that I did do for the mask was I did black. And because uh, there's, there's black in, in so I'm taking a little bit of black in that soap green. If you didn't have soap green, you could also do ultramarine blue or Payne's gray. And I'm going to go ahead and just color in the eyes. The darkness of the eyes. Let's just get these in now out of the way so that we... Yeah, any questions I can answer, John? Why people well, are... tons of happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthday, happy, happy, happy birthday. Just birthday wishes. It's, it's like somebody's birthday. I imagine that. Okay. So, so the, basically I've got an underpainting going on here, and I've sort of laid out what I know I have to have before anything else happens, right? I know I've got, at least I've got the face protected, and you can see one coat of white paint's not going to do it. And um, if I'm, I've just used black, so I want to make sure I've 
rinse my brush. And if you find a clean spot on your towel, make sure that you're, um, you, you, don't, you, you don't have any other color on that. Here's some titanium white. This is the golden. And uh, again, second coat of white. Was that golden that you put on the first coat? No, that was there. Mm -hmm. that, there was there. This is oh, even golden wouldn't cover it that well either. No, not the first time it mm -hmm. won't. Not when you're doing that. This because you're going over red. So. Um, Panama has canceled their carnival in, in February. That's the second largest next to Brazil's carnival. Well. Yeah, just not safe out there yet. Not safe up there yet, right? So let's. Let's do that again. This is just a. This is just probably need about three or four coats on the face to get that white face the way we want it. But that'll get us. That'll get us this far, you guys. Yeah. So now, so those of you who came in late, what are we painting? We are painting this. Ooh, that's pretty. Nine by twelve. So now we we need some. We need hey, we'd some. like to thank Anne Marie for the donation that came in through Super Chat. And speaking of that, we had another one come in through PayPal from Barbara. Thank you, Miss Barbara. And oh. I think I have another one. Oh, I've got a few more. Another one from Andrew. Happy birthday, Ginger. You, you are well loved and appreciated. Thank you for making my art journey possible. Oh, thank you, thank you, everybody. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate and one it from very Liz. much. Liz, thank you, Miss Liz. And one more from PayPal, and that is Cheryl. Thank you very much to each and every one of you. John, could you do me a favor and print this out on the really good paper we've got? Uh, that good fancy watercolor paper stuff. We've got, we found this paper that um, our printer likes, and it's, it almost feels like watercolor paper. You're but talking about my heavy matte paper? Your heavy matte my paper. My really good paper? Your, I, my yeah. high quality yeah, photographic you, paper? Do you guys see up in here, do you see these darker tones? I do. These are almost like a lizard crimson yeah. uh, tones in here. There's that. Um, you know, lizard crimson is an in interesting color in that um, we, a lot of oil painting kits, that's a color that just comes with it. But you can make it just with red and a little ultramarine blue. You make a pretty decent alizarin crimson. Not cad red because that'll go brown on you because that's got yellow in it. But but uh, you can make a pretty good alizarin crimson. And this uh, this permanent vi red violet is a good color too. Do you see that? That's almost a uh, kind of almost very similar to that. It's the color of red wine is what it is. And um, I want to come in here using one of the bigger brushes like that and just, uh, I want you to think about brush direction. I know the feathers are all just bursting out, so I want to make sure my brush direction does that too. For those of you who are old enough to remember what a record player is, and the, well, some people just don't know. My grandkids, I don't know that they know. Um, you remember that th there were grooves in the record. Well. Basically, your brush direction is like grooves in your paint, and you want to think about that. All right, so we're just we're gonna come up from this way. See, we're just we're thinking about that all the all the time. We're just giving that some real thought. Now, I didn't put out that much paint, but I'm gonna to have to put out a little bit more because um, this is the permanent red violet. Is the color I'm using here, and um, uh. Here we go. Here we go. So let's let's because we're gonna want that color in here. Uh, to get that contrast of, of here. Let's just come on up here a little bit. There we go. I think I think I'm gonna put a little bit of um, uh, black with that now. I want to see what happens. Let's take a little bit of black. We normally don't use black. We're gonna take a little bit of black and we're gonna darken up. And let's see what we did. We put a little bit of black with that. It made it a little darker, but I'm not sure as I'm fond of that as I would be if I added blue. So let's try let's try a permanent blue violet, which is almost their purple color. So let's try that and see if we like that a little bit better. 
yeah, that's actually the permanent blue violet with that is prettier than even adding the black, okay? So we want to come up here like this. I want to darken this corner. And then maybe I'll take some of that permanent blue violet and put it over here because that's so dark. Do you see how dark that is? Perfect. Where did it go? This is this is great. We'll use that. Um, let's just get this real dark over here. So when we put the black over it, it should be good. And I think I want a little bit of this carmine. I'm going to put a little bit of red in this. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm going to come on over here. I'm not going exactly like the photograph, but I do want some of these undertones of color. Okay. We're going to start filling in this, this mask. And again, everything's sort of a starburst, I guess I would tell you, is a starburst around the, uh, the mask. So one thing that happened to me when I was trying to decide what to give you guys on my birthday was, um, as you remember, some years ago I did a painting. And then I put it, it was a downloadable lesson. And I let... Um, and everybody for the month of February got it for free. You guys remember that? It was Garden Steps. Everybody got that, some sort of steps. It was some sort of these really steps. And I thought, what I would love to find is an old DG, guy, you know, that, um, it's going to take a little bit of the vermilion now, what would be an old DG that um, was born on my birthday. And you're going, well, and then I thought, well, maybe that's asking too much, you know. We could say, who was born, say, um, in February. In February. That'd work, right? So John and I looked, and, and John, John looked, and he'd say, what about this guy? And we look at, nope, 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 nope. And finally we found someone that was born, no kidding, an American artist. Well, he was born in Ireland, but he became an American citizen. So, you know, American Irish artist. That, um. He was born in 1801 on February 1st. So lo and behold, that's Lo and what we behold, did. and so we're going to show you later tonight, we're going to show you the painting that's, a, what is it, 11 by 14? It is 11 by 14. It's 11 by 14, and we're going to show you uh, where it is in, 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 and how to get it, and it's free to everybody for the month, of, regardless, for the month of uh, February. So regardless, it, it's, there's a coupon code. There's a coupon code. Coupon. Coupon? Yeah. Coupon. And and what and what do you do with that? How did they get the coupon code, John? It's on the website. It's on the website. It's on okay. the homepage of the website. It's announced right there. You can't miss it. But they don't do they are we showing them what it is yet or they get all run oh, no. there and look? Well they can all go run and look at it. But they won't see the actual painting. Okay, they won't see the actual painting. All Not right. Yet. We haven't showed you the actual painting. We want a little bit of mystery. Well that's fair, right? We need a little bit of mystery involved in this, yes and yes. We have to have some fun. Like so we thought that would be really nice. Ooh, and look at that gorgeous painting. Oh, yeah, good. yeah. Do you see the difference from the regular printout? Do you see that? When you do that, you see that's what we're going for, these beautiful, rich colors. I want to just show you this as opposed to just a, when you print something out on regular t typing paper, computer paper. Typing paper. I just love that. My birthday, I'm loud. So anyway, you can see that there's a difference in the quality. I don't know where you got this paper from, but it's really nice, isn't it? And you and can you really see it. You have paint on the, the back, ready to go. I've got paint on the back. Well, this was still wet, but I want to. I wanted you to see it. So I thought that was important for you to see it. So th there you, you see did. it. Hey, we got a question. Sure. I go through a ton of paint. I watch you and Cinnamon, and I just don't get it. How do you use so little? What am I doing wrong? I sand. I gesso. Could it be just my style? Well, well um, first, what's the, what paint are you using? What's the quality of the paint? Yeah, that yeah, your brand of paint, uh, the size you're using, how much water on your brush. Um, for instance, people think they save a lot of money doing um, uh, student grade paint. It costs you actually more because you're doing so much more paint to get the colors. You know, you just can't get them. Sorry. Right, here's some bright red. Here we're gonna put some bright red right up in here. I'm going to just come up here like that and take a little bit of that look at that magenta. Here's some magenta right there, primary magenta. I want a little bit of that color over this now. This has had a chance a to dry. Chat. Cindy, thank you for your donation. And Diane, thank you for your donation. If okay. you use Super Chat and it doesn't ask you for a credit card, it means you already have a credit card tied to your Google account. Most people do. 
They do. Yeah. Right, so, so thank you, ladies. We're going to come out here and do this. And I'm just going through my reds. This is some primary magenta. Just kind of come out here now and start layering in uh, my reds. I'll just put a little in here anyway that you might it might be peeking through. Okay, so so far, so, so far, far so good. good. Yes, yeah. yes, and yes. So far, so good. We're so, blocking it in. We're just we're getting just, it, that's all the colors. Can, yeah, we're just blocking it in. Blocking it in. And um, you know. Um, Ooh, another let's... question. Okay. Can I use acrylics and gouache together? Can I mix acrylic? Can an acrylic be mixed with gouache? Uh, I I don't think so. You could. They have acrylic acrylic gouache. You could probably one on, if it was. You probably do one on top of the other. I'm not sure why you want to mix them. Yeah. No. Just. Get the acrylic gouache if you want. Yeah, and you're going to do it. You make sure you get the acrylic acrylic wash and not the water. And then you could mix those. Not the watercolor one. Yeah. Maybe you could the mix them. Then you, those you could mix for sure, right? Yeah. But because um, they'd both be binding. Yeah. So all right. So you see, there we've got we've got something that we can let we can let that dry for a minute while we're deciding about feathers. But you see, we've got that going. And so then I can switch over to the face again, maybe work on the mask a little bit more. So I'll take some of this white paint, this is theirs, and um, I want a little bit of this color, so I'm going to take a little bit of soap green, because I want a shadow color, okay? Thank and, you, Robin, uh, for the donation that came in through Super Chat with a little guy who's painting. I wonder if you've seen that one before. That's cute. Looks like a cat. Probably a cat or a squirrel. Must be a cat. Could be a dog, I guess. Little dog. Now I want this to be a little bit more of a gray color, so let's put a little bit of that black in there. Very light gray kind of here. We're gonna come up here like this and come under here like that. I want a little bit of this green, just a touch of this green color. And uh, really see a little bit of face under there, like that. Oops, now, now let's take a little titanium white, come over that. Is napple, napple crimson the same as napple red? I think so, yes. Mm. Or close, isn't it? It's I know close. you have to, it depends I on the manufacturer. More, more of a burgundy. Depends on the manufacturer. That's for it's sure. It's a lot of these are a little bit like when you used to buy lipsticks, and every year they'd come out with a new lipstick, and they just renamed it. You remember that? Yeah. You, you know they. Well, you probably don't, John, but those ones were they used to do that. They come out. Well, we've done this. I mean, the, the um, so it's just like, for instance, did you know? Just a Ooh. piece of fact that did you know that a brush that's say a number sixteen in a uh, Richard Simmons. It's not a next number sixteen, not the same size as a number sixteen bright in another brand. No. But you can't go by the size, even by these stupid numbers, because they all make up the, they make them all up. <laughs> I know, they're not making up numbers; they're real numbers. <laughs> they make I mean, them up, John. They no, make them up. They, we only they, have the certain. We we have ten digits that we call numbers. We, 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 they can't do strange stuff. They do. They no. make them up, right? No. They make up the numbers, and it's very <laughs> disconcerting. So I'm going to take a little bit of yellow here. Besides that, it's confusing. You know, it looks a little green now, but we'll just do this on the bottom of her lip. And then the top of her lip is almost a burgundy color. The mask looks fantastic already. Well, we're, yeah, we're done. She's going to do some touch-ups now. Here we go. <laughs> John, did you make a cake for Ginger? Of course I made a cake for Ginger. So that has to, um, that's just got to be in here like this till we can do something else with it. All right. We have to, we actually have to wait, come back over here, you. You're going to work on the face a little bit? I'm going to zoom in like you are. And yeah, just kind of up here. I want the bow. She has quite a strong bow in the lips. Is so that what that's called? Her. The puffiness? Yeah, it's called the bow. The bow. This, this right here is a bow. And the trees have bows? The, they have, have boughs. So I mean. this is a very confusing world you people live in. 
What, you know, on my plan, we don't you talk move? like that. You don't live in the world anymore? Did you somehow no, move? You, no, you guys, are, you have got some strange <laughs> words. Mean, same word means different things. No, mm -mm, I can't take this. It's way too confusing for me. Well, well, you shouldn't not let all those your girlfriends do your homework in school, and then then it wouldn't it would well wouldn't you be know such a, I did have that strong capability. You know, you just if you'd done your own homework, you'd probably know more of this stuff. Oh, right? I, you know, I couldn't have gotten through English without Sarah sitting in front of me. You let you, Sarah Jones. She let you cheat, did she? No, 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 we don't use that term. Okay. She would just move off to one side, and that, I happened to glance up. Oh, is that what she did for you? Yeah. Yeah, she's a good cow. Good kid. Okay, like there's her. a little shadow under there. All right, so baskets. All right, so you see where we've got this is still wet. All this is still wet, but we can we can work a little bit on the mask part because it's dry. All right, so let's let's keep working on our golds here. Here, this is Naples yellow. I kind of like that. You guys like that color? That's oh, that's nice. That's that's a nice bright yellow, huh? Okay, and let's take a little bit of the ye yellow and the uh, yellow ochre and. Uh, Come on up here and see. Second like coat is always so much better, isn't it? People always say, "Well, I don't understand why this isn't covering." You just, you, you have to do second coats, coats on things, and um, uh, and that's important. I've got a little bit of the um, here. I've got a little bit of the paints. Uh, that was the uh, burnt sienna. Now look how I'm wiping all the paint off my brush, and then I'm just kind of smudging these together. Do you see that? So, live and in person. So you got, um, there's a trick to this. Hey, we'd like to thank Sally for the donation that came in through Super Chap. Happy birthday, Ginger Hugs. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for spending your day with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So what is this? Yellow, yellow oxide. Oh, here's a good one. Lily would like to know, hypothetically, can we get all the painting techniques with just an angle brush? Uh, no, because, um, for instance, like if you want to really do some good clouds, that's a good question. Yep. You want to do some good clouds. Sometimes you need to do a, to have a big brush like this to do big backgrounds if you're doing a bigger paintings. Um, the liner brushes are perfect for, and then, gosh, you can't can't get, get by without a, um, uh, you know, one of these uh, dagger, dagger brushes. Brush. So many, so many brushes, so little time. <laughs> but you'll see that the ninety percent of the time, I'm, I've got, I do th these little angle runs because I can, I can, um, I can really manipulate the paint easily, if that makes sense. Okay, so that would say that would be the main. So no, you can't just have just the one brush, but you can probably get away with like five different varieties. Yeah, you can you can get and it, you wouldn't have to have a dagger brush. They're just so nice, right? That you, you know, why not have one, right? And, but you can, don't have to buy them all at once. And sometimes, you know, you 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 may have some of this. Is I, what can I get you for your birthday, for instance? And um, maybe it's a palette knife, and maybe it's a brush. You know, you can do a lot of things under ten bucks. Yeah. You know that that are handy to the studio because brushes wear out, and um, you know. That, you know, maybe somebody wants you to do a painting for free for them because you probably have friends that you have obligations to. Maybe you do have to do a painting for free for them. Okay, you've had that happen, right? Oh, well, absolutely. you might suggest, you know, I'm happy to. Uh, some, a painting like this could wear out my brushes. Would would you um, at least buy me a few new brushes and I'd be happy to do it? See, people don't think that, don't see that as, as being un unreasonable. You know, I mean, they really don't. I mean, that's because it isn't. It's just really not unreasonable at all to, you know, to ask somebody to do that. All right, so I'm going to take a little of this white and a little bit of this primary yellow. Mona says, do you still remember when we saw the mask in the window in Stockholm? I do. Oh, yeah. We saw the most beautiful mask with Mona in Stockholm. Oh, my gosh. Wasn't it something? I think John got a picture of it, didn't I you? I do have a picture of it. I have so many pictures. We, we can just sit at home and go through all the pictures and all of this stuff. Yeah, no. I, I hey, we'd like to thank the 600 and well, we were at 600. 600 people that have joined us this evening. Oh, wow. If Thank you haven't you subscribed yet, please consider doing so. Thumbs up doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt at all. Thank you very much. And about if you a do a thumbs you... down, make sure you press it twice to make sure it goes through. <laughs>
Hey, 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 no laughing over there. How different is a dagger brush than a t cat's tongue? Everything in the world. Oh, yeah, they're, they're, they're for, totally for, different. They're totally different for <laughs> different things. Close. Daggers are really, they're for long, skinny lines and long, um, not for, if you needed a long line from, say, here to here, like an inch or so, a dagger brush probably wouldn't be the one. Maybe, a, But a dagger brush is really good when you have to do these long, flowing lines. All over the place, yeah. That they're really nice, nice, nice they hold for that. Because the, they hold the paint like an inkwell. Yes. Of their design. Here's that yellow late maple. See, but I still need something lighter here. Just see, look here. See how we're doing the... Um, this is nice, all these little ha happy colors, aren't they? It's nice to have all those happy colors ready to go, too, pretty much. From that Salvador kit. Yeah. Yeah, that's that Naples yellow. Uh, this is Naples yellow deep. And it seems very light to me. What is the size of your palette paper? It's large. 11 by 14, I think. Now here's another little trick you may not know. Your brush, the paint will start to dry in your brush, just like it does on your palette. So and every once in a while you have to just, canvas. even if you're using the same color, just take a moment and rinse it. Okay, I'm gonna use this Naples yellow red here on this one, right up here. That's pretty. Let's do the same thing here. It is a large palette, but if you look at the paint, we, she puts just a little dab out there. It does go a long way. During the quarantine quickies, we got out of one kit, we were close to 40 six by eights out of the kit. Are you painting wet on wet? Um, no, this is all, well, a little bit, but not much. Wet on damp. Wet on damp, um, you know. 12 by 16, that must be what size it is. Steffi would know. 12 by 16 palette paper. There, okay, so there's the, uh, yeah, let's do the little tiny line under here like that. Well, we have a bunch coming in through PayPal. We're gonna have to get caught up here, my queen. Okay. Now let's start giving some thanks here. Thank you very much, uh, Sean. Go the right way, and thank you to Cindy. Thank you very much. These are donations that came in through the PayPal system. Appreciate that very much. And here is one worth the name. Well, thanks, you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Wait a minute. I don't have a name. Oh, there it is Lisa. You know, you would think the receipts would all come through the same, but they don't. Thank you, Lisa and Lorraine. Thank you very much. I checked for comments to see if you said anything. Thank you very much. I see Are somebody ran over and got their angel in paradise. We're going to talk more about what's going on over that website when we have a moment too. Yeah, maybe. And we'd like to thank P uh, Patricia. Uh, happy birthday, very much birthday. Happy very happy Ginger, a very happy birthday. And those, another person snatched up the, and another person snatched. Hey, you people are supposed to be staying here watching the show. <laughs> well, should we show the picture? You better. But we better show the picture. All right, so you want to know the picture. No, wait, wait, wait. Let me finish with these first. Yeah, finish with those. Then we'll yeah. show the picture. Uh, thank you, Deborah, for your donation. Do you have, let's see, happy birthday, Ginger. And so many other password, two passwords, another person. And that, I think, wait, oh, there's another one, and Wanda, thank you very much, happy birthday, a gift for Ginger. Oh, thank you. No, I already know what she's going to get. Yeah. I, we were that, talking that, about that, it earlier. I've got a wish list that's, <laughs> that's just crazy, long. it's been a wish list, but I have this thing that, you know. <laughs> Rachel, thank you very much for your donation, and... Still going. Sandra, thank you very much for yours. And still another one. This is from Tammy. Happy, happy birthday from Missy. Missy Tammy. Do you go by Missy or Tammy? You, I, I never know both. because I, she does. Um, she does both. 
She confuses me. Thank you, everyone that has donated to the worthiness of the queen. Thank you, you guys. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, thanks for a very happy birthday. And uh, I kind of miss seeing everybody. And uh, that one time we did the cruise was so oh, fun. Oh, that was so much fun. We did that birthday cruise, and that was just so fun. We'll get back to those again. We'll get another one in. All right. So I think this is. Um, let me put a little. Let me put a little red thing right here. This this is going to be red. Let me put a little it, red thing here. But it, it, it has to, in order for it to be bright, this little jewel. you got to put a little gotta bit go, of white We've got to put a little white there first. But so far, so good, good, right? Don't make a continuous line. There's just, these aren't totally outlined. But you could use, you could use, if you're having trouble with this, with these finer things, you could use a Posca pen. And I... Missy is the kitty, Tammy is my given. So we can call you either one, you don't care. I would love to do a cruise with the group, and especially Ginger and John. Yes, you would. Well, we, we had fun. such a good time. The one, the one year that we did it was just amazingly fun. Yeah, okay. we'll, we'll get that. It's going to be at least 22 or 23 before that's going to happen, though. All right, so we can let the eyes dry yeah, a little bit. Yeah, let that dry. Let's, and, let's and, have maybe a little socializing. The, maybe I could show the... Um, show, so, show some of the... Uh, show, what the show what we're giving everybody on your birthday. They're getting the present. Yeah, this is the, this is the painting... This is our. Um, it's upside down too. Uh, this is our painting that we're. This is the tutorial. How many hours? Like three hours. Yeah, tutorial. just over three hours. And it's. We thought that um, this originally was done, um, like in, eighteen twenty-five by a artist Thomas who. Cole. His name was Thomas Cole, and he had. Guy. He was born on February first, same day, just like a like a hundred and what nineteen years ago, hundred twenty <laughs> years ago. So yeah. So and that's something. And, now, the, uh, the, the key to this is this is just a small portion. This is just a corner of this giant painting he did, but what caught my eye was how Disney-esque it was. Yeah. I mean, even that many years ago. And I thought, I love this angel, and I thought, you know what? I wanted to give everybody an angel. I thought we had really gone through some hard times last year. And I thought having an angel hanging out in your house wouldn't be a bad thing right now. And so... Um, uh, that's what's in our uh, gingercookstore.com, and um, and it's free. This tutorial is free for the month of December, and you'll own it forever. Then, if you sign up, if you get it during during February, rather get it, get February. it oh, only February first to whatever the end of February is, right? Twenty eight. We're gonna do twenty eight days. Twenty eight days. It's free, and then March first. The, goes to forty four ninety five. Goes to forty four ninety five. So you just so you want to be sure to get it now. And this is open to all our viewers. We thank you very much, our Academy members, everybody. Uh, this is a good, this, uh, you just, um, John can give you more details on how to get it. But what was interesting was that he was such a, his artist, he had this angel here, and then this was like a corner of this giant painting. Which you can see. I put that up there. So it has you, and it was so interesting, and I, I zoomed in on this because I thought, look at, she's got purple wings. I was just so, just so after my heart here. And, and he's got this sort of purpley sky and this water and this mysterious garden. And I thought, man, this is a little slice of heaven here. And uh, anyway, so I hope you guys like it. If you, if you, when you go to the website, you'll see the code is 2021BBASH. B-B-A-S-H. And you put that coupon code in on the final checkout page. You'll, you'll see places that says you have a coupon. Yeah, you have to use the coupon code. Otherwise, you'll be giving us forty four ninety five, which we will gladly accept. For yeah. those that want to buy it. <laughs> but, but it's free if you use our code, okay? Free if you use our code. Now, that website is slowly becoming our new website. And if you are a basic... If you, if you have a membership on our beginner acrylic artist website, I need you to at least go to this website, gingercookstore.com. Going the right way. And create an account there. Just, you just have to create an account. Now, once you're doing this, you're going to be in there, and I think I'll be able to snatch on to you. So, because um, when we get ready to flip it over, the basic supporter, the people that are on the beginner acrylic artist website will be coming over first, and then we'll be doing a few more things, and then we'll slowly bring over the senior academy people. So, we're slowly getting to one website. As we're going through this process, you're going to see things show up under what's called My Tutorial, 
that you really don't have access to that says you do and you try to go to it, you'll have to buy it. But don't be buying anything like that yet. We'll let you know. Or if you have a question, you want to buy something, let me know what's going on before you actually do that purchase. Because things are, because just how it has to be programmed in there, we can't program in 500 lessons at one time. So things are going to be coming in kind of weirdly for a little bit. But if you have questions, please use the contact us and don't be alarmed if you start seeing things change a lot on that website in the coming weeks. That's my two cents worth, my queen. I think that's good, right? I think it is. Is this our next coat of reds for the feathers? Uh, yeah, need, need lots of reds. Lots of coats of red to get the red to really pop up there. Yeah, red is one of those colors. Even if you're buying house paint, you know what I mean, for your house and you're painting a door red or something, as a, you know, as you think that would be cool to do. <laughs> even when you're doing that, you need like three. Red is one of those colors that the more coats you give it, the happier it is. Yeah. It just is, is that, that way. And you see, we're using a pretty big brush here. And we're, you see, I'm just, as I add more red paint, you see how vibrant that is. And a lot of times people just stop too soon. This is Vermilion. And, um, it's coming on out with that. We don't. There you go. Just sort of some sort of artistic view of, of the feathers. The and journal site is the same site that we're currently on. The quintessential. Everything's going to be on that site. If you have anything on the store, that is where it's going to be coming. It's just going to be coming under a new domain name. And we'll probably be doing that. Hopefully, within a couple of weeks, we're going to be switching it over. All right. So I know it's going to cause all kinds of confusion, but. Just kind of bear with us if we do this move. It will be worth it. Yes. And don't don't freak out. Just oh, another thing. If you think a lesson's not there, like the quintessentials are disappearing, just refresh. Refresh your browser a few times, because as I'm doing things, things get screwed up in what's called the cache, and you just have to refresh. That is F5, function five on your keyboard, or the little squirrely thingy that's up in the address bar. You can find it. Refresh. And you can see, we're just you don't need to do a lot with that. People always say, what could you use a dagger brush for? I'll show you. Here's a dagger brush. We'll get some carmine here, right? So if I wanted to have, um, here's, my, here's my picture here, right? So um, I wanted some long feathery things, right? The long whispery. Long whispery things. I could use the brush like this and maybe get that effect you know like let's see let's try a brighter orange here Michelle would like to know could you do the feathers with a palette knife no they wouldn't look right they wouldn't be as feathery no wouldn't this would not be a painting I would do with a palette knife um, if we already have an account set up under the beginner and the store uh, the main thing is you need an account on the store site, gingercookstore.com. If you already have an account, that's fine, right? Yep. If you already have one there, you're good to go. You're golden. Okay. All right. So you see there's the, the, the red feathers, right? Now, the, um, the black feathers, um, I've got that black, but I think I want to put some blue in, it, in the black. I'm going to put some of this, um, I feel like this would be good, the cyan. I'm going to put a little bit of cyan out, and I'm going to have a little bit of black and a little bit of the cyan color. Just add a little bit to that, about about a third a third of it. And then I want to sit there and say that I need some, some feathers here, right? So, um... Oh, I like that combo. Which blue did you use in that? That's that cyan blue. Ah, with the, and with the, the feathers. Black. Black like this, and I'm using this dagger brush, but you could still use the other one too, the big one, right? So we're just saying this, these are coming in here like that. This is quite a uh, the code. The coupon code is 2021B Bash. So there's two B B B A S H. Two Bs. Somebody asks, is this is how you see see how I'm getting these little skin skinny feathers? Like that over the red, you see that, yeah. and that's that's how that's that's how, what a dagger does for you. That's what a dagger does for you. Like right up on the chin of her face, 
And then um, let's put a little bit of white with that. Make the code is also gray. right on the website. So, like, for instance, then if I say I wanted a few, let's see, let's take some. I want it a little whiter. I want a little bit of gray here. Let's just take some white over this. Just pure like that. There we go. Do you have to be holding the painting, the picture? No. Thank you. You're obscuring there. my view. Sure. So there you go. You can see where that's, you can see where we've got, now we're not finished yet, but you know, we've got a good start on this picture. Yes and yes. Oh, I'm, I'm, and, I'm liking it. And um, now if you guys like Mardi Gras mass, we have, we're the queen of Mardi Gras mass here. Um, we are the queen. This is um, I'm a queen now. Some mm. masks from, you call it blast from the past. Here's some masks from the past. I think this one, was this a, this was one that we did on, um, I think YouTube. Uh, I can't remember if this was YouTube or the Academy. Another mask. I like that one too. Another mask with the feathers. Um, this was, I know this was YouTube, just sort of this very fun, very free kind of Mardi, Mardi Gras mask. And one of my favorites from last year was, um, the, this was in our Academy, the white mask, the white queen was this one, the white one. So, and then there's a, we have a bunch of others. Those are just the only ones I found we haven't sold. So I had, a, I could show you. But, um, and then this mask here, in two weeks, on this, the two weeks on a Monday, we'll tell you more about it, we're going to be painting this for an art museum in, in California. In California. It'll be, you, can, you can join us over the... They're what, doing a Zoom or something. They're doing a Zoom or something. We don't know anything about that. We're, <laughs> this is the mask we're doing for that. So cool, right? But how fun is this? I mean, Mardi Gras is, a, is fun. We can celebrate it whether anybody's doing it or not. And uh, so... Uh, so to uh, help some of those people, I see some of the questions going by. If you are a Senior Academy member at GingerCookLive.gallery and have not purchased anything or done anything on GingerCookStore.com, yes, go create an account. All you have to do is create an account. Yep. If you get our free download, you've created your account. If you don't want the free download, that's fine. Just create an account. If you don't do it, it's not the end of the world. You can do it after we've moved things over. But it'd be nice to do it now. Just It'd just be nice. We're just saying it would be nice, right? Andrew says, welcome to my world, Zoom. Yeah, we'll, well, we'll see we about that, buddy. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, okay. We'll I'm see. just trying to figure out how to get the, our cameras to go through it. All right. Now, one of the things that's kind of, people always ask us about different brushes and when you use them, right? Sometimes you need a small, like a pointed brush. This is um, kind of nice. I want to go ahead and, I can't I can't do any of this. Till, uh, this has to dry. Can um. Maybe we could just take a second and I can show, show a couple of birthday gifts because that has to dry. Oh, yeah. Why don't, do you know, why don't I do that? Um, here's one that came in from... Uh, uh, I think that was Judy. Yeah. Happy birthday. From Judy. From Judy. So, whoo, fun, right? Don't know what any of this is. John just kept these for me. It's just sort of fun. You guys are making my birthday so special. I appreciate it very much. Ooh, something just fell Ooh, from Amazon, floor. our favorite store. And look, you know, this is Amazon didn't used to be this classy with the with the with the paper. Have you noticed that they've gotten much better? Ooh, it looks like several boxes. Ooh, candies. So there's Love a it. Raspberry chocolate raspberry sticks and chocolate orange sticks. And lemon. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Love wanted. that. These are great. Thank oh, you. Oh wait, they're your birthday. Well, I'll share. Oh, you're so sweet. Because we're friends. You're so sweet. I'll share. Thank you very much. That is just splendidly nice. Oh, thank you, Daisy May, for the donation. Happy birthday to Miss Ginger. And this one I know came from Tonya. And I, and John Boy. said we should wait. He should wait and open on the show. So here we go. We've undone it. Ooh. Right? Whoa. Oh, my gosh. Is that... Is that is that, that perfect like for royal, Mardi Gras? Ro Isn't royal that what coffee. someone that some somebody was celebrating Mardi Gras would do? And wait, wait, there's a little handle. Oh, this is cute. Look at this, you guys. Look at that. The royal. Yeah, this is definitely. I, what I you believe would, there's a spoon in there as well for your tea to stir your. It's, I think I put it on the edge. There oh. Oh, 
Look at that. Isn't that cute? Very, wow. Very royal for the queen. Very royal. This is very definitely royal. goes with our Mardi Gras picture. And there's even a polishing cloth for... <laughs> And this gets hand washed, so this won't be used an awful lot. Well, it's still very pretty, and it, and it certainly is a, it's, it, it's, it's delightful. So thank you very much. Let me just grab that from you, my queen. Just John just got to get it out of the way. How you're putting that away? John just didn't mm -hmm. like how I put it away. Okay. It's not even close. And um, did you put the card inside the bag? I think on this one. Oh good, I hope I did. Yeah, and this was from. I like this. Happy birthday. Ooh, it's a handmade card. And um, dear Ginger, I'm so grateful I found you on YouTube. And several years ago, I have been around. I've learned so much from you. Thank you very much from uh, Gail Asparo, Graham. And so, and Graham, and, and she made this bag. Oh, that's a cool bag. Yeah. Oh, Ooh. and a Posca pen. Look at you that. You can't go wrong with a Posca no, pen. No, you can't. So this is beautiful. So thank you very much. So those were our little birthday gifts we got. And there was a book from Liz. Thank you very much, Liz. She sent a book. And um, so thank you for that. And I think hopefully this is dry enough that we can keep playing. All right. Now, how are you going to how to do these little feather things that are coming out here like that? That's sort of interesting, isn't it? So I would suggest Doing it that carefully. you just take the time. And uh, let's just dry this real quick, John. This still is a little wet. Can we do that? Let's um, dry the hold on. Let me think who you are. He, he's trying um, to figure out which which button to push. We're well, going to yeah. dry, dry okay, that Okay, you're, you're muted. All right, while well, she's drying that off a little quickly. Hey, thanks, everybody, for coming and celebrating the Queen's birthday with us. Um, I thought I saw a question go by here. Again, the, the, the Academy members will be... I'll bring... The senior Academy members will be coming over a little bit at a time because we have to do all your billing and stuff. But as far as the Ba people, we're just going to kind of switch you guys over. You're a smaller group, so hopefully that will all work. Uh, John, is the code case sensitive? I believe it is. It should be all lowercase. I, when I tested it, I did uh, uppercase, and it kind of freaked out. But it said it took it, and just do lowercase. It's, that's what they want for the coupon code. Okay. Is account from your old website transferred, or do you need to create a new one? You will be creating a new one if you're on gingercooklive.gallery. Uh, if, if you're on anything other than the store, the store is going to be the new site with a new domain name. Um, if you're still thinking of signing up in the in any of them, go ahead and sign up now. It doesn't matter. The transfer, you know, we'll help you with the transfer. It's not a problem. Don't 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 delay your education because we're trying to make things better for you. Okay, so we've got some feathers kind of coming out almost like leaves, like coming around your head like this. See that? We have to put these in, all right? So just sort of chalk those in so that, you know, I have the kind of the sense of what I want to do here. And um, let's get a little rag and let's get the... Audio is quite low tonight. Anybody else have experience with low audio? I don't. Then we're, where's my little meter? All right, uh, so no, uh, we're broadcasting in full strength. I'm going to take some white paint and a little bit of this uh, purple paint and put a little yellow in it. Okay, okay. and uh, a little bit more of that, maybe a little bit of brown in it too. Let's do that. Sir. All right, I want something like this. So I'm going to say that this is this feather right here. Okay, and then maybe I'll do another one here, and I'm going to just going to put a little bit more red with this one now because I want some of the red to show through. But I'm going to suggest that there's another fe feather right here, and uh, let's do a little gray one here. We have to kind of play with these a little bit, a little bit lighter. Okay. All right, seems like it sounds pretty good around the world. Okay. All right, so here's Thank a gray you. feather, and here's a kind of a gray feather coming up this way. 503 thumbs up. Thank you very much, people. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And this one's going to be a little darker. This is going to be a little darker feather here. Mm. Let's make that even darker still. Let's put a little black with that. 
make that darker. Let's make these a little bit darker, like so. And then these over on this side got kind of gray on us. It was interesting. They changed colors. Watch that. When you look at the reference, watch that, because they kind of change colors on you, and um, you wouldn't think they did. And then a couple of them are just... Just seeing the, the feather this way, you don't see the whole feather. But we, you know, we can we can add lib a little bit, right? So here we go. It's a little bit lighter gray feather. So, oh, here's a nice long one here. I like this one. Um, I like this long one here, like that. Notice how she's using the tip of her, the toe of the brush. On yeah. See, brush. I mean, you can have, you don't have to have a dagger brush. I'm just saying they're convenient. You know, if you got one. Why not use well, you it? You got one. It's nice to be able to just to do the toe to get these thinner lines and. But you know you don't have to have one, right? You just um, let's see. I'm gonna put a little more of that. Hey, we'd um, like to thank Joyce for the donation that came in through PayPal. Got a few more of those to catch up on, boss. Oh, thank you, Joyce. Thank you very much. And Jeanette, thank you, Miss Jeanette. And Diane, thank you very much, Miss Diane. And Jean, again, thank you. Thank you, each and every one of you. And Julianne. Julianne. That's a nice name. Okay, so we've got some black coming Debbie, up thank you here. very much for your donation. I see a bunch of orders. I see you guys took the website down. Nice job. Just hiccup for a second. So if you get a hiccup on the website, just just be patient. You have all month to go get this. Yeah, don't worry if you don't get it tonight. You'll, we still have it there for you. There's no no rush. That we're not going to run out. There's no. It's you know it's a downloadable lesson, so it's infinite, right? Yeah. Okay. So nobody panic. But I think it's kind of a neat thing to do, and I think everybody. You know, I hope you all take the time. And remember, if you're an academy member in the senior academy, you can send me your artwork in for personal art coaching, which makes it pretty special too. And, uh, Stop it, time out. And it's back up. There, just a little bit so more red here. Okay, so we've got these feathers in. Now, what could we do? do? We have to get this layer in before we can do the finish the mask. So we've got this little paintbrush, and I'm going to take some white paint. And... Uh, And we have another donation. I always get this person's name wrong. Iana, I O A N A. How would you say that? Iona. Iona? No. I O. Oh, Anna. I O Anna. I, -O -A -N -A? Mm. I apologize. But thank you. Just the same. And Sharon, thank you very much for your happy birthday to Ginger. Okay, so I think I've got everybody now. I'm going to um, make that line a little bit thinner. Okay, so that, that feather. So this is where um, this is where fluid acrylics come in. Cause, because if you really shake those up well, and you're trying to do some little kind of, you know, I want all these little round feathery things, right? The little round white dots. So if you've got to really shake this up though, because otherwise it'll be pretty translucent. And this is our golden fluid acrylics, and I'm just going to add a little bit of that out there, and uh, just see if that isn't uh, doesn't make it a little bit easier to. So I can almost drop the dots on. It does because I can drop the. I can almost just touch it, and the dots want to. Um, just be just be dots. They just want to be dots. That there's no real struggle to get the dots to happen. They're not in or in order. You sock folders. If you look, they're not in any <laughs> order. Who are you replying to? Um, well, there are people who think that would have to be in all order. They were not in any order, but some dots were bigger than others. Like the dots on this one were definitely bigger on this this one. Sandy, I'd like to thank you for your donation. Happy birthday, Ginger. And that's the Sandy that joined us on the birthday cruise. Oh, thank you, Sandy. That was fun, wasn't it? That I was love fun. that cruise. That was a fun time. I'm going to tell you what, i got to tell you, Becky's sermons was um, kind of in charge of everybody on that cruise, and she made it really special, too. She kind of 
there was a committee of really nice folks that were on there, and everybody got together, and they, um, we had such a good time, and um, even got to paint a little bit on the ship, and that's, you know, their regulations are so crazy with the environmental regulations that, you know, they want you to haul everything back with you. Oh, it was a nightmare going through that. We have, had, we have decided that, you know, you can't, if you're an individual and want to paint on a cruise, apparently they don't care. But if you suddenly make it a group effort, then all these regulations come out. So we can't actually do a... So when we have, when we have a birthday bash, it's a birthday party. That's all it is. If yeah. you happen to bring your paints and you want to paint, cool. There's some good places to do it. Right, yeah, we, you know, they even get the whole dining room to do it. They're very they, accommodating. They tried. And, and, the, and the crew loved to see what people were painting, too. They got pretty excited about people's paintings, you know. Um, so I'm applying a little feather there. Now... There, that just keep it going here. Tony says, "I figured out I'm a sock folder," and Ginger and Jeff laughed. <laughs> Tony's husband's Jeff is uh, take, taking up painting, and he and did doing this quite just an excellent really job. well. He did an eagle that was terrific, and um, you know a lot of us are spending more time in the house than we normally would. Nobody's out doing things, uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. We can't all be out there doing stuff. So um, it was wonderful to see uh, uh, you know, people, you know, new, new people painting and trying things out. And, um, you know, if you've got someone in the house that's, that wants to try painting, uh, the, the trick is don't offer suggestions. <laughs> really, you know that's particular. I used to see that painting parties with kids. Um, the, p the parent would bring their kids, and obviously the adult is going to be painting slightly better than the child because they're older, right? Even if the adult isn't very good, so the kids always looking up to the parents and looking for, you know, some sort of guidance or something. And I saw more kids just cry and will go up, go off in big tears because um, they're. Um, mom, it, with truly the best of intentions, had um, said something that just so, so upset them they couldn't go on with life. You know how dramatic young girls can be, you know. And uh, but it's, it's always just best to just let let them figure it out. Cinnamon used to when she was younger, when she was a kid, you know. Um, I, I learned really quick I, when she was little because she was really good and she was, but every once in a while she'd paint something and um, I learned really fast um, not to say oh that's a beautiful rose because it wasn't a rose that said this and what's wrong with you right and I'm like so now <laughs> that's another little secret too is painting so, tips for kids right you know what so, you should so now you should, have to be careful what you're what you're appreciating yeah just yeah it's best not to get too too specific. You know, that was funny, right? That was, uh, well, I mean, it is kind of funny when you think about it. Is there a traceable? Traceable for what? Well, it's traceable for everything we do. Yes, there's a traceable for this. and it There will, will be, be a traceable for this. It's not done yet. And it's not done yet. It will be on our We'll have the website. reference and the traceable for this. For everybody, whether you're a basic supporter or not, this is yep. our birthday gift to you, so you definitely will have it. We want to make sure you keep painting. Nine, nine by t a 12. Um, there's a lot of little there's some details in this but it's kind of fun right Debbie like no when's the next cruise we're looking at 2023 right now for anything major we may do something quick if they get their act together but it doesn't look like anything's going to happen this year either no I, I, I don't think so I, I, I don't think so That's very I don't think, unless they get it done by the end of the year we're not doing nothing uh, yeah. Marilyn, thank you very much for the donation. Happy birthday, Ginger. Thank you for your gift to all of us. You are so generous and good to us. Thank you. So I'm going to take some of this white, not the part on my finger. but Will I be able to use craft paints to, to try the downloadable course? Yeah, absolutely. 
paint with whatever paint you got. Give it a try. All right, so now we're going to... At gonna... least give you an idea of what our lessons look like and how they'll be in the new site. Ooh, doing the fancy stuff now. Now that's not, now that's not a liner brush, and you're getting a very fine line. Yeah, I'm just using the uh, fluid paint. Okay. And, you know, on a paint, you know, a brush like this, you just kind of keep rolling it. Now, this is where sock folders would have more fun because they'd probably make all the pattern the same. Absolutely. And that's absolutely fine with me if you want to do that. <laughs> you know, I just, you know, I'm I not. I draw it on first, I get my protractor out. Take me forever to paint anything. Well, just, you know, we're getting an idea here. Just almost like heart loops on here like that. Do you see that? They're almost like little hearts. Just yellow oxide and... Um, Put a little black in that gold and it, it gets a little bit of a, a patina to it. There we go. So we're still going there. Still going strong. Yay. Yes and yes. Yeah, let's get this pretty light around the nose and a little bit smaller. The, the lines get a little bit smaller around the nose. We uh, like to thank Linda for her donation. Happy birthday, Ginger. Thank you for all your wonderful tutorials, tips, and personal art coachings. Oh, Linda, thank you so much. We appreciate it very much. What's this personal art coaching stuff? Personal art coaching is where this is the neatest thing we do. Nobody else on the planet does anything like this. What we do is we, we tell you that you can... Uh, it, it become an academy member and you can go ahead and then you know take a photo of your painting okay let's just do a little of this dark color here I need this to be darker take a take a color of your painting take a take a photo of your painting and you send it to me in the ticket system and you say what you were working on one of either YouTube or one of my academy lessons and once a month it's maybe just something else that you you're doing from one of your own um, uh, photographs and uh, what we do is um, uh, I will then go ahead and look at it and make suggestions. You give me a reference photo. What I need to know what you're painting, what your reference is. If it's not a tutorial. If it's not a tutorial, I need to know what that is. And then, let's see, we need more of the white. Now again, this all could be done with a Posca pen very easily. You certainly wouldn't have to use a brush if you didn't want to, if you're having trouble, didn't want to use a brush. But uh, it's really looking cool though. Well, it just this is the kind of stuff that really adds the pizzazz to a picture when you get it kind of kind of done a little bit more than you'd think. As the pizzazz. Question. Let me put this black out again. I'm kind of out of it. Because the bottom part under here is um, is uh, darker. Okay, so you can kind of see that a little bit more, and then there's, there's um. There's just these little touches. Again, you could use a Posca pen for this if you felt like you were. Um, that you've got to highlight it a little bit. You know, again, it's um, kind of fun. We'll put those shadows under these. 
little uh, details on the mask. And um, uh, let's see, just a little bit of some dark under under here like this on the underside of these loops. So that what goes against the mask there. Okay, like that. We get we're kind of getting there. Just takes a minute. And then uh, let's see. We said this was red. Remember? Well, maybe you don't, but we did. We said that was red. What was red? This little jewel right oh, here. Oh, that's true. Seeing how it just has to be white yeah, it before be it can be red, so it really shows up. And uh, making her red a little, her lips a little bit redder than they. Than Ooh, they Cindy were. has a good question. Can anybody remember what the red and purple levels are? I do. If you think about a color wheel, I kind of did it this way to make it logical. Red is your VLL people. That's the middle of the group. In blue, is the wave and water. If you take red and blue, you get purple, which would be wave and water and VLL membership. And if you go the other way, orange, you have red, then yellow will be the junior academy members, and then orange will be the basic supporters. And I think I did, did green because there's a freebie level. So there is logic to the coloring that I did. So that was the uh, the gold on the bottom of the lip, and there's the light on the top. Okay. So now let's let's start. Now we have to start um, adding, you know, more highlights. Let's see, we're looking at more highlights here. And more of the fine details. Yeah, there's just a few more things that you know you got to do here, like. as we paint the mask in. Now, if, if you're on the website and you're of a certain level, nothing's going to work for you yet. This is future. You're going to see things popping up and it will not work unless you are going to be a beginner. You're going to be in the first group. If you're a senior academy person, your stuff's not going to work yet. You stay where you are. Stay on gingercooklive.gallery. Don't be pushing me, people. Come on. 24 hours in a day. So everybody's going to see the lobster sitting there. You can't get to the lobster. Somebody wanted to buy the lobster. See, the lobster was retired, and somebody wanted to buy it, so I had to put it up. And I said, well, we're going to put it up the first way, and we'll see what happens. And this is what happens. Everybody sees it. You can't get it unless you buy it. So. But if you're a Academy member, you can have a discount. Can't even remember if we get a discount. But it's going to take us a little bit of time. All we ask is a little bit of patience. I'll put more information on the website. A little more red, another layer of red. On this little guy here. Okay. You got a little bit of uh, gold or something on your hand, on your left hand there, it's got on the edge of the canvas there, my sweetness. Oh, look at that, sure did. Oh. Okay. I don't see it, it's gone, people. Yeah, it sure did, I wonder where I had that from. What did I get it on, I don't see it. Well, it might have been on my rag. Probably. So, probably it was on the rag or something like that, and then it got, uh, so... Um, See, a paint brush like this will do small lines too, right? Not just, you, you can get some small lines with a brush like this for sure. Let's see, I want something darker around my, my jewel. Ooh, Big Al called himself COVID last Tuesday. He's recovering, just woke up from a nap. Glad you could join us. Sorry to hear it. Take care of yourself. Yeah, really, that's a... And you're up in the cold country. A 
Okay, now we're getting to where, let's see, this is where we talk about the layers coming in on your mask because um, uh, that's where you want, you know, I mean, you want, I want it a little darker here on the sides so that she, you know, going to kind of darken it here on the sides a little bit. We have somebody joining us from India, and I apologize, I couldn't even begin to say your name. I'm a cinnamon student wishing you a happy birthday from India. Oh, thank you very much. We have a lot of members from India. And we have, I think cinnamon probably sent a whole gang of people over here tonight, so thank you very much, you guys, for, if you're new to our, our channel and never, never had a chance to, to see us, we appreciate it very much. Hit that subscribe button so you'll know when we're going up. All right, so you can see where we're getting, um, we're getting our, you know, we're starting to work, our, we're starting to work our way into the final touches. Before I go too much further, I want to show you one more thing. Um, again, for those of you who joined us late, this is our birthday gift. Do you want to back it out a little bit, John? Uh, back it out. This is a birthday mind. gift for all of you from us, and it's a downloadable lesson in gingercookstore.com. You have to use the coupon code to get it for free. And it's going to be available during the month of February. And this is our Angel in Paradise. And John and I felt that uh, that, that uh, we wanted to give everybody an angel. And this is a three-hour step-by-step tutorial. 11 by, what was this? 11 by 14. 14. 11 by 14. Yep. Uh, uh, canvas. And... Uh, Apparently, one of the traceables is wrong, and they will fix that tonight. And we did, so. we did do, uh, we did use Salvador paints on this. Yeah, the entire thing done the with the Salvador paints. The entire thing was done with Salvador paints, and um, I think you're going to really like it. And and you know, this is the kind of thing where you, um, if you're feeling a little down, maybe this would cheer you up. And I love that the original artist uh, lived 200 years ago, and was born on my birthday. So how cool is that, right? That is so way cool. All right, so I wanted to show you that. And then for those of you who are wondering what's coming up in our academy, of course, we've had some really good success with um, uh, with this painting. This was last. This was the current uh, video lesson library tutorial, which was our turtle. And we have something. We go everything from one cookie to a box of cookies. And I think this was a two cookie lesson, or kind of an intermediate lesson. And it tells you a lot about glazing. If you haven't tried this, an Academy member uh, that's both in our Wave and Water and our uh, Senior Academy. It's our, our turtle, and it's called Swimming Toward the Light. And one of our um, uh, viewers uh, last week told me that, because uh, we showed this last week too, she said that uh, apparently animals do want to, uh, under sea creatures, that they have a tendency to sw swim toward the light. And there's even a problem with cities because they they um, get confused about where they're going because of the lights of the water. So they have certain harbors that they don't have any lights in the water to protect the animals. There was a whole thing about that. I thought that was very interesting. And uh, then this week's... Uh, uh, and then this week we're going back to a one cookie lesson, which is our Renoir um, flowers. And originally we had this on, in fact, six years ago, we put a little tiny six by eight on um, on YouTube, which I think is still there. But this is the, uh, a, you know, eight by 10, a more detailed version of this. We thought it would just done uh, with better cameras, better stuff. This is the, if you haven't, you know, that will be available later on in the week. We hope. In, in, we hope in the Academy. <laughs> so that's what's going on. Here that's, now, that's the target. That's that's what's going on in our world. Here's a a Posca pen, and it's a gold pen. I want to show you. What you can do this. Is real acrylic paint, and, um, and this is what you can do with stuff like this. As opposed this. to fake acrylic paint. As opposed to fake, is there such a thing? Huh. Well, I, I'm sure there is. Uh, perhaps there is, John. Perhaps there is. What happened here? Did I do that? I did. I really, well, look, I have all this on my, underneath my arm. Out come the tub of towels. Clean up my arm. Because I was kind of liking that spot down there before we added polka dots to it. Here. Just while you dry. What happened down there? I don't know. 
but whatever it is, I tattooed it with all the paint that was on my arm, all these little spots of paint that were on my arm. I somehow, somehow tattooed it. But that's what uh, that's what we love about acrylics is you can you can do anything. So let's let's come back with the. You can fix it up. With, we can fix it up. I want to come back with the. I'd like to thank Kelly for the donation. Happiest birthday from a new follower. Well, thank you, Miss Kelly. Okay, here's some red, just a little more cad red out. I want to put another out. one in here, and from Tint. Thank you very much for your donation as well. Now, after you get the lesson, and if you see it says you're not enrolled in it, press refresh a few times and see if that kicks it in. It should, if you're having any problems, remember to refresh first before going into panic mode. Third coat of red. A little bit brighter, yes. What red is that? This is actually, this is when you really need a red, this is cad red medium. Oh, pulling out the big That's pulling out the brighter reds. When you need something that's brighter, and it's, you know. When you really want the red. When you really want the red to come out, then that's what you have to grab. There's just certain colors that, you know, again, uh, you can see the difference. Uh, when, you, when you grab just a slightly brighter red, that's a cad red Matisse. And you can see what a difference that makes. As bright as these colors were, didn't that make a difference? And the same thing here on the on the jewel. Look at here. Let's make this Begin jewel bigger. Another dose. It just can't say enough about reds. So there's actually um, okay. So we'll see. One of the things I wanted to do was that. Oh yeah, we started. We got confused. We started with the Posca pens, right? We got confused. Well, I got distracted because I had that one thing here. Okay, so I'm going to take the Posca pen now and see what that does, if anything. I'm not wildly impressed with that one. No, not really That's just not doing a thing for me. What else we got? What's this one? Is that the same color? Same color? Nah, that's not doing it. All right, what's this one? This is pretty. This is kind of an orange gold color. Might be okay. A little bit brighter, yes. It's a little bit brighter, yeah. Which one is this? This is um, well, it's all in Japanese, or I tell you, this color. Now, I think what we want is white. I think we're gonna go back with a little white here, and um, well, you really have to shake these up, though. Cause see the little ball? Can you hear it? The little where's the microphone? Hear the little ball? That's that little BB in there, and that really stirs the paint up. And you got to take it a minute and and shake it up, and then you got to kind of punk pounce it a little bit. Here you go. There we go. And you put a few little highlights on these on the mask here. And I think that that kind of gave it a little bit of a sparkle. A couple, you don't outline the whole thing. You just add a few little highlights here, and then you can do this with a brush too. Just a few little highlights here and there. Okay. Okay. Let's just kind of give it. Now let's. We can do this with our mouth too. There we go. A little easier to do her mouth this way. 
we want that mouth fairly small and maybe a little highlight right here on it to, on the lip, light part of the lip just do that okay so uh, let's see I think I want a little something in the corner here too on the mask okay we're getting very close the last thing I want to do uh, we're going to start uh, Let's start a drawing, John. I'm going to do his last couple things. We're going to start a drawing. It's the last chance to enter for the... Um, for whatever giveaways are given. For whatever the giveaways are. The, 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 um, oh, that just... That just dried up completely. Don't we have some... I just sorted out some black on those. I could have sworn. I put three over there. Well, you know, I don't know where you put them. Uh, so I don't have them now. They used to be in this, this, uh, in the they used to be in that, they used to be in here, some black. You there's see them? two right there. Well, what's, what's your, oh, well, the black pen, all right. Isn't that what you said? No, oh. I wanted this black, these black flow Oh, things. I don't know where those are. I'm not in charge of that. Well, I had three the other day. Well, that's the other day. This is a new day. Well, black, what's this? Okay, so here's a little trick we're going to do with some of these white feathers. Hmm. Let me put those. You know, so we're going to, we're going to, here's where you can, if you're, if you're not sure, if you didn't quite get the, if you didn't quite get your, um, you know, your details in there. Thank you. Thank you, Art, for the donation on Super Chat. Oh, no, I missed the birthday live show. Happy birthday, Ginger. Art, Art, Art. What are we going to do with you? He missed the whole thing? Well, not the whole thing. Apparently, he hears, he's here now. How can you miss the whole thing if he's here now? Because we're still on. Aren't we still live? Yeah. Okay. Can't really do Super Chat if we're... If we're not here. If we're not here. Can't really do that, <laughs> right? No. So you've got those gold paints from um, the ones we got from the... Artis. Artis gold paints. We, 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 we're not to be daunted here. Uh, couldn't find my... Uh, um, could not find my, my liquid black, which I would have really liked to have had. Couldn't find that, but I think I can wake this up enough to make it work. Now, let's see. Let's do... Right yeah, there. just give me those two. Thank you. May I have these two, please? Sure, we could do that too. Here we go. Now, here's that. Um, here's the. Um, here's the brush that the long. Um, uh, that's that dagger brush, and you see, you push and then lift up with a flick. You push and lift up. Okay. And. Um, so you can go back if you need to do a little bit of something, right? And uh, push and lift up. You're black, my queen. Thank you. Well, the, the Salvador is working pretty well with this, but, you know, there you go. Push and lift up, and if you want to, see, you just maybe make something a little darker over in this corner. There you go. Oh yeah, excellent, excellent. This, the, I, I love these brushes. There we go. Because you've got such a um, a way to get really, really nice. Uh, you can get really, really thin lines with these, okay? Which is terrific. Okay. So now let's take some of these. This is these are Arteza. This is the last thing we're gonna do. If this is somebody says, when do you use iridescent colors? Well you would use them on a painting like this, right? That would be the that would be the time to use them. Uh, Something with a lot of see? a lot of pizzazzy stuff. You know, that that you might want to consider because they, they do have that metallic look. That gold is very nice, isn't it? I mean, it does, it does give a nice metallic, and you can go over, if you've done any of the white, now you take this gold, if you've gone on, over any of the white that's dried on the Posca pen then, you can then go over it with this, and um, it will even be brighter. 
So it's just it's, it's kind of a neat trick. So you've got this, you know, this neat gold color, and you can can do that. So just you know, keep in mind you still have to have it darker. And what was the other one you gave me? This one, and then was this one. This was called um. Well, it's all they're both called gold. So are you a little lighter? I don't know if maybe that's the one I used. Now this is their darker gold, their deep gold. And again, that's sort of fun too, right? So I mean, you can always play. You know, that, you know that that would definitely be something I would consider playing with um, on something like this. You know, don't don't uh, give up on on not doing that. So okay, anything else I want to do to this before we call it finished? Um, I think we're pretty close to being done. Maybe a a highlight on our gem, maybe. Just a little highlight on the gem, and uh, I think I want my eye a little bit deeper here than I got it. Let's make this eye a little bit bigger. There we go. <gasps> Better. Better. She, she's, I think she's very mysterious. Don't you think so? These uh, gold paints she's using are Artees. They're gold Artees. Somebody's gave us this whole set, and we don't use them very much. But, you know, what do you use them for? I think Mardi Gras masks are perfect things. Yeah, Christmas, specialty items. Specialty items. They're a that, very translucent paint. And, uh, yeah, so you want to... But they have a nice sparkle to them. They have a nice sparkle to them. Let's just put a little white with that. Little gold, a little bit of white. What happens when you mix a little white with that? Can you get a? Can you get still get the nice light, bright highlight? Yeah, see, something like that. You can still get a nice. You can get a very nice highlight with these. Something like that. There you go. All right. I think that this is we're gonna to say this is finished. Um, uh, again, we started off with uh, this. Our little mask, and we've got the black and the uh, the red um, uh, feathers. Another another color you could have used is the red, and maybe even gone into the uh, the bright pinks. You know, would have been another um, you know another option you could have done, which would have been fine, right? And. Uh, Oh, this person from India again. I apologize with your name. Cinnamon ginger have done more to my art journey and mental health than all of my doctors and other art teachers. Indebted to you both. Long live the queen. Well, thank you. You know what's interesting about painting is that, that you can get lost in time with painting. It just time stands still, really, when you're painting and. Um, and I think that that's a, I think that's a, as good a way to explain it as any, is that um, I think we need one more black feather here somewhere. We needed something coming out of here like this. There we go. Um, time can kind of stand still. So if you're in the middle of a crisis and you can take the time to paint, you don't think about anything else. It really does. Um, Yeah, a little bit more on that side. Yeah. It really does uh, make that big a difference, I think. The painting really does. And, um, uh, you know, something to think about when you're, when you're painting uh, is that you, it gives you, a, it's almost like a form of, it's like a form of active meditation, for, you know, I think. All right, you guys. So let's start giving away um, our Salvador paint kit. I think is Salvador one of the first paint kit is up for grabs. That's this. That's this one right here. That has the those of you who registered for that. That's the has the brushes, all the paints, twenty four paints plus two whites, the sponge and everything. That's uh, courtesy of Salvador Paint Company. We thank them very much. The their rep uh, emailed me today, wish me happy birthday. I thought that was very sweet, and. Um,
we did that again, didn't we? What'd you okay. do? No, nothing, I guess. That was just a, something there. Okay, so I'm just signing this so everybody can kind of see it. So, Salvador, so John's going to get us a winner for that. We also, we also are going to, uh, for you guys, uh, how many entries we have today? We got a few, so right? Near 400, 460. Wow. So uh, we appreciate we appreciate that very much, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for uh, you know hanging out with us. I want to just make this darker here, above here like that. There we go. Keep keep I'll keep playing with it. You you know. Okay, I got the winner for the Salvador paint kit. That's going all the way to where? Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Oh my goodness. Well, and it's cold up there. It's cold up there, so this would be a good thing to, to paint. Um, you know, uh, to, to have time to have fun with the paints. So congratulations on that. Let's get that dark out of there, right? One of my new shows over here. And so somebody said Salvador paint kit. Let me just uh, say that now uh, they have the. Um, Oops. I didn't do it. Here's the Centurion, uh, the, the linen tablet. These are 10 sheets of linen with a with a um, ruby satin silver brush. One of our uh, uh, members, Academy members, uh, you know, bought all these and sent them to us and said, I want you to give these away on the show. Lynn Lawless is the winner of the Salvador paint kit. Lynn Wallace? Lawless. 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 In Wisconsin. Okay, so Wisconsin. Lynn, that's great. You know, you got those 12 brushes. And I tell you, the ones, I use these skinny ones a lot, you know, in here. Yeah, you and do. You, you, you see me stuff. use those a lot. And um, and you've got the 24 paints and the palette and the sponge. So that's way cool. And so she got that. So who who, who has won the, um, the Centurion? Somebody in the very beginning, one of the earliest entries we've got. Yeah. Got to go all the way back to the other end now. A lot of entries, right? So we'll just put that up on the side there. I'll put that out of the way. Way cool. When you're doing that, I'm just going to keep playing with this. It's done. I signed it. But you're, while you're just deciding who was won what, I'm, don't mind me. I'm just going to keep playing. I right? figured you would. And this is for the canvas and brush? Yep, canvas and brush. Canvas and brush is going to go where? It is going to Pennsylvania. Ooh, up where my daughter lives. You are getting snowed on, right? Yep. Winner of the canvas. And we thank the individual, if you're out there, for the canvas and brush idea. I think it's a marvelous to do. It's a very nice thing. Canvas and I'll tell you what. Um, we don't get any help from Jerry's Artorama that um, you know actually makes these things. We Virginia Walsh. Oh, Welsh. okay. Walsh. Congratulations, Miss Virginia. You're the winner of the canvas and brush. Wow. I'll just you know me. I'll just keep playing that. All right. So you've won that. So all right. And then I think we need to have somebody's going to win. Um. Our uh, quintessential color mixing Whoa. journal, which is a hundred dollars value. Somebody's going to win that. And Whoa. if you already have it, you can then use that as a credit for something else on our downloadable lesson. So That's very generous. Have, I, have you been talking to the? Accounting I have not. Department? This is oh. John, oh, so, John does. So, so you're is, going off the cuff on this. I'm one. going off. I'm going off the cuff. I'm absolutely going off the cuff on this, and I know oh, that I'm that's something we keyboard. normally don't do. But it's my birthday, and I felt like we ought to. Hold on a second. I have to plug my keyboard in, or I'm going to lose my power. Okay, oh. so someone's going to win that. And that quintessential know. color mixing journal, we'd show it if we knew where it was when we clicked, cleaned up we the can't studio. We find it right now. But uh, if, you haven't, if, you, if you want to know and learn the basics and the advanced stuff, too, on how to... Um, how to uh, how to mix paint, then this is what you want. You need one of these. You need to find a cable quick as a button here. See what a little bit of red will do? Look at, see, I'm just playing with this a little bit. 
See, just a few little touches of red, and we've got a, we've got what we call a color surprise. Yeah, there we go. One moment, technical technical issues here. Technical issues. I'm gonna plug my keyboard. In. It'll last forever. I forget to charge it. Putting a little red in here. That's pretty. All right. Okay, so somebody while he's looking that. I got that. Charging. I got the number. I gotta go now. I gotta go all the way to the other end. So who won that? Because that's a you know that's a cool thing. That is a cool thing. You still have to get the and you can find the actual. Uh, the, the, the journalist, it's, it's not a book. You have to make it yourself, but the only way to learn how to mix colors is to do it yourself. 13 hours of videos on how to mix colors and how to make a journal. You can always refer back to this journal. And, 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 and just the question of how to mix colors just isn't going to come up again. Because you'll We know. even tell you how to make the Salvador colors. We even tell you how to make the Salvador colors with just 12. Just 12 colors plus two bonus colors. Well, it's really 15 total. 15 total? Well, counting white and black. Well, yeah. I, yeah. But still, it's a lot. Okay. There we go. Just having that little bit of red makes such a difference, did not you think, you guys? Quintessential journal. Wait a minute. Quintessential color mixing journal. Got to remember the initials. All right. This is going all the way to... Red in here made a difference. I believe that is down under. Queensland. Wow. Queensland. So that's going to be Australia. Australia, absolutely. Oh, we almost made it there last year or the year, but we did. Yeah, some, someday before, we'll get to visit. Someday we'll get to visit Australia. Yes. Yeah. That New Zealand. Yeah, that's someday, right? Yep, someday. Winner of the quintessential color mixing journal is Rosalie, let's see, Rosalie McCullum. Rosalie, congratulations. All right, that was something that John didn't expect. And where's my birthday cake as we oh, sign off? my birthday cake. Yes, we, we'll sign off. With, we'll say goodbye with the, with the toast to everybody. And thanks, everybody, for the... Um, uh, the the kind birthday wishes the you know the wonderful gifties and uh, John John made me I John made me cupcakes for my birthday and uh, you want to just pass them through here? Do I dare? Yeah, probably should um, Ooh. move the painting. They're up here like that. Here we go. Look at this, a palette full of cupcakes. How absolutely perfect is that? All right, so... Oh, they look so nice on camera, too. Oh, oh. wait a minute. Let me get a close-up. Yeah. Let me get the side view of this one here. Wow. I did one... This one? With the fancy... Yeah. That's the... Wow. Queen. She's already eating it. Ooh, yeah. Huh? She's this already, one? She, she scarfed it. Okay, go ahead. It's yours. Oh, my gosh. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We'll see you next Monday. Well, yeah, we'll be back next Monday. And appreciate uh, you know appreciate all your kindnesses and hanging in there with us. And for, shout out to the new guys that have just found us and uh, and uh, Cinnamon sent you over. Thank you very much. And um, remember, Cinnamon's on Tuesdays. At, um, so don't forget to go watch the art trip uh, tomorrow. And we'll see you guys next Monday. Is that wait? Are, are we done? Yeah, aren't we? I'm just checking everything, making sure. I think so. I think so. Hey, thanks everybody for joining us. We will be back. Um, like she said, next Monday. Don't forget to get your free angel Get the tutorial. free angel during the month. Otherwise, you're going to be spending big bucks for it, which we don't mind accepting. We're not bashful. Look for the coupon, coupon code. Coupon code's right with it. More information will be on the website on how things are going to be changing. And all we're asking for is a lot of patience as we go through this little bit of last of our growing pains. And then it'll be all well worth it. Okay. See you guys. Bye, everyone. How's that cupcake, my queen? Mmm. Oh, it looks delicious. I wish mm, I had one. So good. Yeah. <laughs> so Bye. good.